Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? I know this is an early one today, but I'm awake and I'm feeling okay. How are you doing today? Is it too early for you? <laughs> I know. Um, hey, Zolt. Hey, how you doing? I'm glad you're up. <laughs> I'm not sure what time it is in Germany, but... Um, I think you're the first one here. Um, yeah, it feels good to um, play in the morning. I'm a little still still trying to wake up, but um, I have a wedding to play at this afternoon, so I I, I figured I wouldn't be ready to play um, at five thirty, which is my usual time. But I'm here anyway, enjoying the day, and. No matter how many people are watching, I'm going to keep playing because I, I enjoy it and it gives me a chance to really practice and get into the material I've composed the past years. So thanks for tuning in and let's keep the music going.
That was Tender Love from my album, Asilomar. And uh, yeah, that it's a beautiful piece. I'll tell you the thing about that song. I was at Joe's house, um, w- which is um, at Piano Haven. He has a wonderful recording studio there. And I was needing a couple more songs to put on the album. And I just had this one little thing. Um, I think I had the first minute of that song, and I never did anything with it. And I said, well, why don't I use that? And I think I only did two takes, and the, and I think I used the first, there, the second take of Tender Love for the album cut. <clears throat> and it was, it was good. I really enjoyed it. It was perfect. So that's what I did for that. And um, I'd like to play another song <coughs> off my album. This is uh, my latest one. Divine Heart. Um, this will be the first song on that album. And uh, yeah, I'm still trying to wake up, you guys. <laughs> I know it's early. Hey, my dad's here. Good morning, dad. And uh, we got uh, we got uh, some cool people. All right, let's play um, my original composition, Tender Innocence. Thank you. 
Isn't it cool sometimes that, you know, you haven't played one of your songs in a while and it feels like it's the f- first time you've ever played it? That's how that felt. And also, let me change the camera angle because you guys can't see me. Ha <laughs> ha. Oops. I got too many cameras. That's a good problem to have, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> hey, good morning, Danny. Danny's in Hawaii right now. I must be like 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. out there. Goodness, that's that's uh, that's hardcore, Danny. I hope hope you're uh, enjoying uh, <laughs> your vacation. Well, uh, hope you're all doing well. Who's having a good morning? What are you gonna do today? I know it's what is it today? Thursday. It's almost Friday. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I've really been enjoying playing some of my original music. And uh, it just brings me back, especially playing the songs off my album, Asilomar. That was over two years ago. And these songs really hold uh, a lot of, of memories, past and present. I'm trying to think of what song I should play next. <laughs> I'm I'm still waking up, you guys. Um, I normally don't get up right at 8 a.m., but I was up till like 11 p.m. just setting up a couple things so I could just turn everything on this morning. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's way too early for me still. Well, too early for a live stream. I'd probably be doing, uh, doing other things now. Oh, hey. Oh, I figured it, it'd be 6 o'clock where you're at, Danny. Yeah, there is a three-hour difference. So, hey, it's not that bad. Um, maybe you uh, could have an early breakfast while you watch the live stream. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> All right. I better get back to playing.
That was Song for Soul, which that piece was dedicated to my friend Soul, uh, who passed away unexpectedly, uh, I believe, almost a year ago, it feels like. Um, so, yeah, that was dedicated to him. I That's probably one of my favorite pieces off my latest album. So, yeah, it it's really touching just to to dedicate pieces to people, you know. Um it's it's just something that it's it's hard to explain on the process about it. But I could tell you um one thing for me at least is certain songs I compose and I don't have a meaning for. So I make music and I don't know the meaning behind the songs only until at a later time do I really understand what the song is about and it's happened to me countless times and I've learned to trust this process to really not push any meaning towards the song until I really feel it's ready or I found the or I found what the reason I'm playing it for Uh, song for soul was kind of like that I composed this song. I didn't know what it was about, but when I heard he passed, I knew I should do something musical. And this song really presented itself nicely during that time. And it just, everything about my friend just flowed into this piece. And really, it's such a gift when you're able to do that with music because it reminds you of the person or it could remind you of anything that you make a song about. It takes you there. It's a very mental thing for me just to really feel it. I mean, I could feel it in my body and it's mental, it's emotional and other people feel that too. And I think just digging a little bit deeper now, you could sense a sense of freedom when you play this because you're really embodied and uh, taken over by the feeling of it. Uh, other people start to resonate with it. So that's kind of one of the things I've learned the past couple months about playing music is the dedication of the piece. Why do you play the music? There has to be a good reason behind it. And I could definitely tell you from being around um, a lot of spiritual teachers who do happen to play music, they have uh, quite a serious meaning behind each song when it's played. And I picked up on that, and I really understood what they were trying to convey. Maybe more healing, or playing a piece to um, really recognize who you truly are. These are some qualities of music that really bring um, your presence closer. And music could be used to do that. Um, Also, another thing about that, um, I kind of lost my train of thought here, what I wanted to say. Um, okay, I remember now. It This would happen every time. Sorry, where are my cameras going off? I would have this insight every time I would play my mentor's music. For some reason, there would be a letting go. Like, a really, like, if I could explain it, how it would feel in the body if it's like a release or a big relaxation when I would play his music. And I've always wondered... I never felt that when I played my own music. What's the difference? Well, I was surrendering to him. I was surrendering to Jonathan. The music meant so much to me. I forgot all about what I was doing now and what I needed to do 10 minutes from now. I kind of forgot that, and I was present. I was there. I was ready to be the music and to realize my mentor when I played. And that opens something up. So this has been a discovery for, geez, the whole time I've been playing piano. So um, I'd really like, I I'll, there's always more to explore in that realm. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you um, know about that little process there. And maybe um, if you're a musician, share your thoughts. I'd love to kind of know uh, what makes you inspired while you play. Getting back to comments, um, all right, Zolt um, has um, some requests, this uh, improv request is distance, great, I look forward to it, and Danny, anybody, if you have any uh, any requests, please let me know, um, 
I'm really happy you're all here. I know it's really early, but I had to do this early because I'm playing at a wedding towards this evening. So I wanted to catch you in the morning, and maybe it's just too early in general. <laughs> but hey, for those of you who are watching, I appreciate it. Okay, let me play one more original, then I'll get into improv requests. For those of you who don't know what an improv request is, just give me an inspiration about a person or a place or an event and type it in the comments and I'll improv a song right to your request there. So write that in the comments while I'm playing my next piece and I'm trying to think of what I'm going to play for my next piece. Well, you know what? I think we'll play one of Danny's favorites since uh, she's up watching really earlier really early right now. She's in Hawaii. So we'll play um, Sam Scar, which is the last song off my album, Divine Heart.
That was Samskara off my latest album, Divine Heart. And we're going to take uh, Zolt's improv request here. This is Distance. And if there's any other um, requests, I'm just checking. I'm refreshing my uh, my Facebook just to see if I didn't miss Sorry, I think we had a drop frame there, but I think you could hear me now. Let me know if it's all good. Hey, Zoltz, that was a great um, request. <laughs> I'm so surprised how things turn out. <clears throat> and that's the magic of improv requests. So there you go. Um, improv requests by Danny. All right. Is this Hawaiian themed? Lounging by the pool, watching jet skiers and parasailers go by. Palm trees sway in the breeze. <laughs> well, well, there you go. That's quite a colorful uh, um, <laughs> improv. 
improv request. Well, let's go to Hawaii where Danny is and enjoy. That was sitting by the poolside, enjoying the palm trees sway here in Hawaii. That was Danny's request. And for those of you who don't know Danny, she is a great friend. She helps me out on my live streams. And she's in Hawaii right now. So that was fun, Danny. <laughs> we have so much fun here on the live stream. This gives me a chance to interact with all of you and to just share stories about music and life. So uh, let me know where you're tuning in from in the comments. Love to hear how you're doing um, and if you have an improv request. Uh, it's been a, a fun morning here in Pacific Grove getting to play music for all of you. Um, I normally do these live streams later in the day, but um, I play at a wedding. <laughs> um uh, later on this evening, so I'm doing them this morning, but I normally uh, go live in um, um, at 5 p.m. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm keeping watch of your comments and just trying to be as interactive as possible. <laughs> so that was great um, result that the request, the distance was really fun one too. Yeah, I'm so glad you're all here. Um, hello, um, uh, uh Ma Delira. <laughs> I 
glad you're here joining the the music so uh i really appreciate um everyone tuning in so uh without further ado uh, what should i play um I'm looking at a couple of things on my album. I think I'll play the third track from my album, Divine Heart. This one is entitled The Heart's Desire. This has a classical feel to it, and I hope you enjoy. How cool was that? That's one of my few classical pieces. <laughs> uh, yeah, this has been a great live stream, you guys. Uh, I'm I'm happy. I'm enjoying the music. Um, what can I say? It's a good day. <laughs> Why didn't I play a a cool little song for you guys? This was this song I composed in uh, love of my hometown, Pacific Grove. And for those of you who don't know where Pacific Grove is, 
<clears throat> it's centrally located in California on the coastline. So I'm two hours south of San Francisco, and it's a small little town. Everybody knows everybody, and it's just a little town by the sea. And I've been here all my life. And I'd have to say it's one of the most beautiful places to live. And uh, let me know in the comments if you've ever been here before in Pacific Grove. And if you plan on visiting, maybe we could do a live stream. How about that? <laughs> so it's, uh, it's great. It's a great place to be. And I hope it becomes sunny today. It's always foggy here. So there's a downside to living in paradise. <laughs> But the weather is generally even all year round. So it's it's good. It has its perks. So this song I wrote, gosh, um, quite a while back, maybe seven to ten years ago. So I hope you feel the theme and the charm of Pacific Grove. So this is it, the song. That brings back so many good memories. How funny is that? I don't even know when I composed that. Probably when I was a kid or whatever. 
but these are songs i've done oh for years um so it's bringing me back uh to the good old days of these of these pieces um so fun so fun um i'm not sure it looks like there's a time delay i have no idea but i'm just going to keep talking i like to do another one this is big sir prelude and this is off my first album big sir reminiscence and boy we are going back in time folks that's when i was at the ripe old or the young old age the young age of 20 or 21 so that first album had a lot of youthful vitality to it i still have it i mean i mean i'm 31 now so i i i'm still strong but uh when i was 20 and 21 oh boy I had so much musical energy and you could hear it in that album. So it's a, it's on Spotify and stuff. So you check, you could check it out. Um, and that was uh, a big Sur themed album. So for those of you don't, who don't know, I play piano at the, at a marathon and they put a concert grand piano at the side of a cliff and I'm the halfway mark. So I'm mile 13 and there's thousands of runners that pass by while I play Chariots of Fire and all these cool songs. And that happens at the last Sunday of April, and it's quite the event. So <laughs> I will play Big Sur Reminiscence for you, and hopefully you could hear the rough landscape of Big Sur and its surrounding area and the water and the people running by. Such an inspirational area. So this is Big Sur Reminiscence, or Big Sur Prelude, off my album, Big Sur Reminiscence. Here we go.
Yes, that's a very grand song, as you can see by my hand gestures. I'm trying to represent grandeur and the majestic views of Big Sur. I don't know how else to show it, <laughs> but maybe you could hear it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, man. I'm having too much fun. Well, for those of you who are watching, we got a small group today, and I'm sure it's it's a treat. We're just hanging out today. Uh, I do want to keep um, playing. And we got time for one more. And I like to play these songs because if I don't play them, I forget them. And it's really sad. So <laughs> if it wasn't for these live streams, like I don't have that many gigs to where I get to play the music that I want to play. So this is like the only time and I get to do it every week. So it's it's such a treat. It's very purposeful here, these live streams. It, it helps me and I hope it helps you uh, get inspired. So this is just, it's it's a little bit of everything. And I just love running these songs. And right now I'm thinking about what songs do I want to brush up on? Like, um, there's just so many, but I think I played all the important ones. I know I, I have some popular hits <laughs> with some of you who really like these songs. So I, I got to make sure to play them all. Um, but this one in particular is another favorite of Danny's. This is Midnight Imagination, which is on my album, A Silmar. So um, I hope you enjoy. Here it is, Midnight Imagination.
And there you go. I hope I made uh, everybody's morning. I hope everybody is enjoying their day. And I definitely am getting to play for all you guys. It really means a lot to be playing music and enjoying with all of you. So this is this is uh, a nice way to start my morning. And I hope to see you all around town and online. Um, I'm doing okay. And um, what can I say? It's 10 a.m. in Pacific Grove, and I'm ready to have more breakfast. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's been a pleasure. Uh, be safe out there and enjoy uh, the weather and the sun or the rain or wherever you're at. And I hope to catch you next week, uh, hopefully next Thursday, at a later time, normally at 5.30 p.m. is when I do these live streams. So thanks again and have a great day. <laughs>